you'll find recipes for Brazilian holiday cookies as well as many other wonderful dishes and treats in my Rio de Janeiro, a cookbook. It was written by cookbook author Chef Leticia Moreno Schwartz, who joins us now in the kitchen. Nice to have you back here. Thank you so much. And congratulations on the cookbook. It's newly out, right? Exactly. It came out in November. I'm really excited about it. Mm -hmm. It's a tribute to my hometown of Rio de Janeiro. So you had to do a little research, Absolutely. some traveling. I collected a lot of recipes and interviewed mm -hmm. a lot of home cooks and sure. chefs and street vendors, and it's all in there. Great, and uh, it's not just desserts, there's uh, no, it's everything. No, everything, right? and the wonderful thing about it is that you don't even need to go to Brazil to find the ingredients. <laughs> Although handy. if you want to go to Brazil, it's a great trip, right? I, I bet it is. <laughs> All right, today we're making some holiday treats. That's right. Um, two different types of things. Two types. We're going to make brigadeiros, which are the national candy of Brazil. It looks like a truffle, but mm -hmm. it's really a fudge. Okay. And we're also going to make something that in Portuguese we call nhabenta. Okay. And in English, I say it's the it's the Brazilian version of malomars. Got it. Very oh. easy to prepare. All right. Well, where should we start? So let's start with the brigadeiros. I have here uh, two cans of sweetened condensed milk, mm -hmm. four tablespoons of butter, two tablespoons of heavy cream. Okay. Then we're going to bring that to a boil, and then we add the chocolate and two tablespoons, two teaspoons, sorry, of cocoa powder and then we want to cook that until it becomes a fudge okay and then you want to chill the fudge um, and then put it in the refrigerator mm -hmm. about overnight would be the best thing and then to roll this come this is where the oh the fun it comes, comes out looking like this exactly Pretty easy. so it's nice and and firm like that and then we just roll it into sprinkles you know and then you can have some you know these candy papers oh, like that. Oh, that's so pretty. What do they call sprinkles in uh, Brazil? We have so many different names here in America. Right. In, in Portuguese, we say granuchilho. Okay. But mm -hmm. what's important here is that the sprinkles should be made out of real chocolate okay. and not vegetable fat. You okay. Know? Well, let me try one of these. Try, it didn't look try. too difficult. <laughs> right? My daughter helps me all the and time. How old is your daughter? Is She's 10. All right, so I should and, be able to um, handle this. Yeah, this is a great <laughs> activity to do with the kids. And, you know, something different other than, not, I mean, I love the cookies and brownies <laughs> and cupcakes, but it's time to introduce something different in I our agree lives, with you. right? This is fun. Especially with the um, Olympics and the World Cup That's coming true. up. Do you, now, do you have to right. refrigerate these? Or? No, at this point, mm -hmm. they're you ready. Them, yeah, right? Exactly, exactly. And you can keep them in the refrigerator for about two to five days. Great. All and right. And then we are going to make the Brazilian malomar. So what we do is we prepare a meringue. I know our hands are That's all okay. dirty, right? <laughs> That's why we That's are why in, the in the kitchen, kitchen. right? <laughs> so with the Brazilian malomars, what I have here is a meringue without the gelatin. Okay. Okay, so we put that into a piping bag. Now I'm gonna have you pipe this. Are baby. you sure you want me to do that? <laughs> <laughs> Let me show you. It's really easy. Okay. Okay, so we just put that like this in a piping bag. And then we take Neil away first, the cookie. Sure. Okay. They're great. <laughs> right? And we just go like this. So let me let me show you one. Okay, great. We take out the extra, and then we take like this, just like that. All right. Okay. We'll Here, see if we can do one. that. <laughs> and then we simply put this into melted baker's chocolate. So the difference here is that this, this is a chocolate that you don't have to temper. Oh. There is vegetable oil in it. And then you just put it onto the paper, just like and that. And it stays put? It, it doesn't... stays. It stays. Wow. Right? And then you have something like this. Beautiful. Let me cut into half, because, or we can try it. But look how beautiful this is. Oh, it is. Right? Well, I won't turn, turn this down. Can I join you? <laughs> oh, it's very good. Isn't it? What so a great good. treat for Christmas. So easy to I prepare. I love this. And uh, we can find the recipe in your cookbook, of course. In my cookbook. Very good. Well, we're going to have a little more at the end of the show. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much for being here, of course. The name of the book, again, is My Rio de Janeiro, a cookbook. And, of course, the recipe at be at WTNH.com. Just click on style. We'll finish these. In the meantime, up next in our Book Lover's Corner, we'll meet author Jessica Bell and hear about her latest novel. We'll be right back.